Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Carter for Fun, and um, today it's another episode. I think episode five. <laughs> it's amazing, guys. That uh, me reviewing your guys' artworks, and so far all of your guys' artworks are just amazing, just amazing. Um, if you if you guys want me to review and or give advice to your guys' artworks, hit me in the DMs on my Instagram. Link in description below and if you guys are new to this channel go ahead and subscribe and hit that like button and without further ado let's start this episode So we're back on Auto Sketchbook and Right now we have a Toyota Mark V. Now this artwork is by USSR and I'm really sorry but I forgot the numbers on the back of the Instagram account. Why? 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 But it's, I'm gonna save the day by providing the link in the description below. Go ahead and follow him. Now, one good look at this Toyota Mark V and I'm gonna say impressive. Now, if you guys didn't know, this is actually a, an animation, and I'm going to be showing the animation in the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. One good look at the Toyota Supra, and I gotta say, <laughs> it's really impressive. I like the cartoonish and the realism kind of thing smashed together. Like, you got the cartoon looking guy right here, the Toyota Supra, it, it kind of looks like realism, but at the same time, it also looks cartoonish, and guess what, I, I'm in love with it, and um, like I said in previous videos over and over again, I love creativity, This I, I'm all for creativity, and this is an example of creativity, and it's so unusual because usually I don't really see animations of you know car artwork because obviously this is an artwork but turned into an animation i don't see that often and so this guy is one of it's really satisfying to see these animations quick short but satisfying so right now i can see there is a lot of shadows here and up on the car now let me explain you why there are shadows on why there's shadows up here and down here why there's so many shadows so I'm guessing there's some kind of tree branch, I don't know, a building or something that is hovering above. Let's say this is the Toyota Supra. I know it's a really bad car and it looks like a hatchback, but it's okay. <laughs> so there's something hovering above the car in which sun probably around here. Let's say that's the sun. So therefore, there's going to be a hell of a lot of shadow down here. So on the top of the car, there's going to be tons of shadows. But on the bottom, it's also going to cast entire shoot shadow because of the sun hitting the, the building. So there's going to be a lot, of, a lot of shadows. And so that is one reason that I, I think there's a lot of shadows. Another thing that I see... Okay, I, I, I'm going to point this out, but these headlights look realistic as heck. Like, fantastic job on that. I, I love this little dude. I don't know. I don't know if he has a name or what, but like, I just, he, oh my gosh. And of course, like I said, I love transparency. So, kudos to that. Like, just look at that. Mm. Mm -hmm. That makes it, it looks real. Now, I'm going to go over some things that might be kind of, maybe you should work more on since it is more of a cartoonish style than realism on cartoon you don't really need that much of a detail so i'm not gonna worry about any like itsy bitsy details on the car like oh no you forgot to do like you forgot to do um you forgot to do mesh on the car you know? like i'm not going to focus on that because honestly cartoon cars don't really need to have that much detail 
I don't know, man. It looks it looks perfect. Like I don't I don't I can't see any flaws. The background though, it might it might have been nice if it was more of a unique background instead of some you know smoke everywhere and all that. But again, it's all good. The, the main purpose is the car and this little guy right here, right? So it's all good. It's all good. Though this part, I don't know what that is, so maybe delete that part. I, I really don't know what that is. Maybe a door handle, but I don't know if a door handle looks like that. I don't know. Maybe that little mistake is like the only mistake I can see so far. You can see there is color variation too, so this is a dark to light. Though I think he only used, and then here's like medium light, light, light. Here's like medium light, medium light, light. I think he used a total of three to four colors in all. And putting together like this, this is amazing. So I'm going to end this video real quick because I don't know, man. There's nothing wrong with this card. There's nothing wrong with this drawing it, animation. It's perfect. Literally kudos. Like, dang. Actually, I just I just found out what his Instagram is. So go follow him at USSR785, I believe. So follow him at 785, USSR785. He does amazing animation, guys. <laughs> Definitely go check it out. Link in description below. And if you guys want me to, you know, review or give you guys advice on your guys' artworks, please hit me up on a DM. I, I have short term memory, so if I don't get to your artworks, hit me up again, keep reminding me, I'll get to it eventually, I promise, like I actually promise, yeah my word, uh, overall it's just perfect, so if you guys have any artworks that you want me to review or give advice, go hit me up on car art for fun, and I'll get to you guys eventually soon and eventually make the video and um if you guys since the video is literally just over if you guys are new to this channel go ahead hit that subscribe button hit that like button and i'll see you guys soon and um this last part is going to be the animation of the toyota supra mark 5. hope you guys having a fantastic day amazing day Whatever day or night you are having, I hope it's amazing. God bless. See you guys soon. Peace.